I'm Guy Henderson, I'm a PhD researcher from the University of Glasgow and I'm based here at Open Ocean Science Centre within Roots Camp Faro Dive Club in El Kisia. So a big part of what I do for my PhD and what a lot of our uh, undergraduate student expeditions do is camera drops. Now camera drops allow us to study the mesophotic zone which is between 30 and 150 metres deep. Now these depths are usually at range for recreational scuba divers and using this drop camera system allows us to collect a lot of data in a very short space of time. So the camera rig itself, um, we use these cameras which are uh, Paralens. The guys at Paralens have been fantastic and given us a lot of support. They're very keen for these cameras to be used um, for research purposes. Now these will go to 200 metres without a housing. They have lots of really cool built-in features like depth colour correction which um, corrects for red light within the first 10 metres orange, yellow, etc. as you go deeper, so we don't need to attach any additional lights to the rig. Now the cameras also have a built-in dive computer. Um, our prior rigs, um, we had to have a depth gauge attached to it. It was very cumbersome, so this is a, a new system that we've developed and it's a lot more streamlined and allows us to collect data a lot more efficiently. So the way this works, we take this rig out in a speedboat and we use a compass to take a bearing from a known landmark on the shore. Now we head off in this bearing and we drop the camera at uh, increments of 10 metre depth. So we'll start at 10, then 20, 30, all the way down to 150 metres. Now what we're interested in is basically how um, you know, fish diversity changes between site, depth and substrate. Now the cameras, you'll notice that there's two on here, that gives us a left and a right hand lens. And we've got some really cool software which allows us to take multi-dimensional measurements from 3D video. Now this allows us to take biomass measurements as well. So we can have these cameras down at 150 metres and we can spot a fish within you know, maybe 10 metres of the camera and we can actually tell what size it is. Now this allows us to um, basically do a bit of work in community composition, biomass and diversity. Now the, the way it works, as I say, um, cameras are deployed from a speedboat. Um, you go out on your bearing and you get dropped down. Now you have a two-man team, one person gently pays the line out. When the cameras hit the bottom, you'll feel a bit of slack in the line and your buddy on the boat will log the position on a GPS. Now that allows us to map out the areas that we've studied and allows us to either return to the same site if we want replicates or not go to the same site if we want a bit of variation. Now, as I was saying, the, I do use these um, quite a lot for my PhD, but we also use them a lot in the summer with the undergrad research expedition. If you'd like to see more of these cameras in action, um, you can find the University of Glasgow Egypt Marine Expedition on Facebook. That'll be commencing in June 2018, and they'll be putting weekly updates of some of the awesome footage they find. Now, sometimes you'll see nothing. Substrate's interesting to us, though, and sometimes you're just amazed at what you can see at depth. I mean, we've seen damselfish that, you know, you would only expect within the first 40 metres or 80 metres. We've picked up sharks, barracuda, all sorts. So if you're interested in finding out more, have a look at the Guys Expedition Facebook page.